Lord Jamal on who started hip hop and Latinos not accepting blacks. The fact of the matter is, is that we've accepted Puerto Rican people into our culture, but Puerto Ricans have never accepted us into theirs. And we're not mad at that. <laughs> Nobody is like, yo, they won't give us credit for merengue or some fucking shit like that. Like, huh? We let mad people get down with our culture, but guess what? Y'all had to adhere to our culture, to our slangs and fashion, and, and, and it was about what we was doing. We was the influence. Y'all, unfortunately, we're not the influence. Once you picked up our influence, you helped ran with it, and you help to expand it. Mm, hang on, let me. Yeah, they, they were there, but they were participating in black culture and not making the culture with them. You know, like, what did he say? Um. He said, um, Lord Jamal said something along the lines of where, like, he's talking about how back then, you know, it wasn't uniform. It wasn't a, an across-the-board thing where, where Puerto Ricans rocked with us, rocked with black people. Like, we all, um, you know, if you're old enough, you remember a time where you might have had a Puerto Rican friend, but his older brother or his, his, his parents in them, they didn't rock with you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, they... You couldn't go upstairs to their crib, like, real to matter of fact. I think anybody that, that got involved into hip-hop later on in the game are guests of hip-hop. And whoever existed, whatever hip-hop is or was when it started, that's what hip-hop is. And if you decide to get down with it or become part of it later on, you're a guest. I don't care what color you are. White, black, orange, Latino, it doesn't matter. Latinos weren't involved in hip hop d directly that that much in the early days of hip hop. They were one or two, okay. one or two. Uh, my my partner Disco Wiz, my first DJ partner in hip hop. He used to beat up people in the street for telling them why you hanging with them niggas, why you hanging with Moreno. Well, he was a uh, well, he was what uh, Puerto Rican. He was Puerto Rican, half Puerto Rican, half Cuban. And we were together every day, like brothers, you know what I mean? Dressed, everything, you know what I mean? And he would always catch flack from Puerto Ricans for being with me, you know what I mean? And he'd knock them the fuck out, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, you know, so, you know, so when, in like 78, 70.